Hi right guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on mining cryptocurrency on Android update. Okay guys, so recently I did a video on mining cryptocurrency on Android and I wanted to do this video, I wanted to do an update because I've learned a few things uh, about the Electronium app and uh, that I thought might be useful and also relay that information back to you guys. If you wanted to download the app you could go into the Play Store and look up Electronium. Electronium. Alright, and you can go ahead and install the app and we'll just open it up there now. On the first page of the app here you'll see you've got minor status and you've got these little question marks here, help, help bars and they actually give you some information on what it is. So you've got minor status here, active and offline. So it just talks a little bit about you know what's happening with the, mi with the miner. Um, you've also got hash rate Okay, so it just explains what hash rate is, and obviously the higher this hash rate, this H slash S is, you know, that the more coin you can earn. What I've noticed since using this app is this hash rate can actually go uh, to different speeds. So um, if you go stop mining, you will see that the hash rate actually goes down uh, to zero, all the way to zero. If you press start mining, can see that it goes all the way back up to 34. Now I've had this hash rate up to 40 and uh, it, it's been as low as like 15. So what I've noticed is that after some time of having the um, uh, the app uh, running on your Android phone, um, you'll find that the speed will actually drop down or you might find, I mean I don't know on other phones but I'm guessing it's the same, the speed will actually drop down to like 15. What you can do is just come into your app Press on the stop mining, go down to your uh, apps bar and just hit close all and then reopen your app, your Electronium app. Use your pin to log in. Alright, once you log back in, then you can go start mining again and it will usually give you, uh, it will usually uh, increase your hash rate or otherwise what you can do is you can go stop mining and just hit start mining again and you can see there it's actually decreased my hash rate a little bit but if I go it's down to 30 if I go stop mining again and then I go start mining and there you go it's increased my hash rate back to 39 so almost 40 so we'll leave it on that for the time being now pending balance now I've got 4.5 ETN so over the last three days it's managed to give me a little bit more than one uh, ETN a day which is a fantastic result what I did notice on the beginning of the first day, this uh, um, pending balance or the earnings that I was getting was actually quite low. Um, but I've just received an email from the CEO of uh, Electronium, Richard Ellis, and he said that uh, this hash rate has actually, or this earning rate has actually been increased twice uh, since since the app's been released. So they gathered the information and realized that it probably wasn't paying enough to the phones or people that were using the miner. So they've bumped that rate up a bit. Now the rate's been bumped up as of three hours ago, and I don't know when it was done before that, but it's definitely increased. I've noticed that it's it's definitely was going from like maybe half half a ETN a day, and it, it seems to be going to you know a bit more than than one ETN at the moment. So I, I think it's really worthwhile getting in early and uh, starting to mine the ETN at the moment. I mean, we'll look at the the value of the ETN in a second. It's it's not worth really much, and the the um, it's actually about six or seven, five, five cents, something like that at the moment. But it has been up at 21. And like all this, all this new technology, it's still new and unknown. I mean, no one knew that you know uh, Bitcoin would go as high as it did. So pending, pending balance. Uh, that's how much ETN I've earned. So over the last three days, I now have four, 4.5 ETN. Now payout for payout for balance. If you if you press on the pending balance there you will see the payout amount is 5 ETN so you know uh, once that hits 5 uh, that that ETN will then move across to my wallet active miners so if we press on that it's just tell us a little bit about uh, how many miners and at the moment there's 47,845 miners it goes into a little bit here where it says how it works so this is interesting so it says your mobile phone doesn't actually mine like a mobile a desktop mobile would instead we benchmark your device and allocate it a hash rate that would be able to achieve if they were actually mining you will then be allocated the amount of etn you would receive if you actually mined a block okay 
So it says, why doesn't it mine? Mobile phones are not built to withstand or cope with complex calculations required to do to perform actual crypto mining. Your phone would overheat very quickly and potentially damage your hardware. Okay, so I'll let you guys go through and read that. So basically what it is, it's just an app that runs in the background on your phone, like in many other apps that you have on your phone. Um, it just does a quick benchmark on how on the speed of your phone, and then gives you a hash rate uh, according to that speed. So I don't know. I, I kind of like it because it doesn't really slow down your phone at all. It doesn't chew up much battery. Like I've been using it, and I would say the battery is is the same. I haven't really noticed any difference. So for me. You know, if you're getting uh, ETN for free, who knows, in a year or a year, two years time, ETN might be worth $100. I think it'll definitely go to a, maybe a dollar or something like that. Um, so, you know, still worthwhile. All right, so down the bottom here, we've obviously got our minor tab, then we've got our wallet tab. So when the uh, pending balance hits five, it will, it will move into your wallet and you'll be able to see your transactions there. Under value, if we press on value, Okay, it tells us how much one ETN is worth at the moment. So one ETN is only worth five cents. This, if you guys don't know that recently, this, the um, crypto market has had a big fall. So all coins are down. Now this was at seven cents. It's now at five. Could go lower. Could go higher. You never know. That's the that's the joy of cryptos. But uh, it gives you just some ideas um, on what the coin's doing. The statistics of the coin. And we've got a calculator tab, so we could put in say one. And that would tell us how much it is. Let's let's say put in ten, just for example. All right, and then it's up to up to fifty cents. Another tab here that we've got, we've got our exchanges. Okay, so you can see that it's listed on Cryptopia and another exchange there. So what some people don't really realize, guys, is that once you have ETN, you can actually trade it for Bitcoin. Um, you know, you can go on to Cryptopia or another exchange, and you can start exchange, start trading the coins for other coins if you want. If we go to more down the bottom here, you can see we've got our details there. There's also earn this earn free coins, okay? And I've showed this on the previous video, but you can refer your friends or you can refer me if you want to. There's my referral code, okay? And you can see that I've already got uh, a couple of referrals come through there from the previous video. But basically how this works is the more referrals you get, you get a higher chance of uh, a 5,000 um, earning fee. So both yourself and who and whoever you refer have a chance of, of winning 5,000 coins. So 5,000 coins, you, do, you put that on an exchange and you start trading it, uh, who knows where it will go in a year or two's time or even six months, or even a month with the crypto market the way it is. Okay guys, so do yourself a favor, go down to underneath the video there, you'll see in the description there's a Cryptopia link. Use that link there, that's a referral link and you'll be uh, supporting my channel. Head across to the Cryptopia website and obviously register yourself an account. I'm not going to go through that. You guys can work it out. Um, but then, you, then once you've registered, you'll be able to log in. So let's go in and have a look there. Okay, once you're logged in, uh, you can go across to the exchange part. All right, and you have all these coins. So these are all the different coins out there. You can see there's Ethereum here as well. And there's a tab across the top. So this is saying that we want to trade, uh, in, in this case, ETN for Bitcoin, BTC. Then there's also a USD. So if you didn't want to, if you wanted to trade uh, your ETN for USD, you could do it there as well. So you can see there that the ETN is worth five cents that we talked about a little bit earlier. Same with New Zealand dollar. If you're in New Zealand, you want to do the same thing. You can see there it's it's uh, it's the same deal. And then there's Litcoin and and Dogecoin, um, which I I don't really go into too much, but uh, you can trade in those as well if you want to. Okay, so. Let's go back to BTC. We'll try trading it for ETN for BTC. We'll click on ETN. Now, a bit of a disclaimer here, guys. I'm not a professional trader. So, uh, you know, if, if you're looking for tips on uh, how to trade properly, uh, you know, probably look elsewhere. I might do a video at a later stage just to show the basics of how to trade. But, you know, how to make money and, and all that sort of stuff. You kind of have to figure out your own strategy on that one. Um, okay, so we, we, we've clicked on ETN, and this is the ETN chart. You can see it's been up and down uh, with the with the with the crypto market. And if you scroll down a little bit and see here, I've got available balance up the top, so I can sell ETN. So I've got thirteen hundred ETN at the moment, which isn't too bad, but you know it's not not a great deal of money. Uh, and then you can see also we've got buy ETN. So when you sell this, you'll then have a, a, an available balance of BTC on this side. Okay, if we scroll down a little bit further, 
you can see here these are all the sell orders so these are people trying to sell etn for btc and these are the orders of people trying to buy etn with btc okay so essentially what you want to do guys is you want to um you want to uh, uh, buy in when it's low and then sell when it's high okay so that's essentially how you do it i might uh leave leave the rest of the trade um for another video uh but because it, it, it will actually take quite a bit of time and, and needs a bit more explanation than that. But anyway, you get the idea anyway. So, uh, you know, there is a lot more to uh, simple mining, you know, on your Android phone. I know there's a lot of naysayers out there and they say, oh, you know, you can't make any money out of it. It's bollocks, okay, because, you know, you start out with five ETN, you do some trading, who knows where it will go. It, it's really it's really up to you and, 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 and what you want to do with it. You've got to remember as well that uh, ETN is uh, the first coin to, uh, to put a mobile mining app uh, on people's phones. So that in itself is, uh, is, is something phenomenal in my opinion. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If this was a helpful video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.